So, now that we've gone over scales and our basic chords, we can start to think about how we're going to order those chords uh, in order to make a simple chord sequence. Now, normally in verses and choruses in pop songs, we have four different chords per sort of section, if you like. So, like, say in a verse, you probably repeat it once, so like this. But then you've got the start of the verse, excuse me, terrible handwriting, and then you've got the finish of the verse here, or the end, whichever one you want to call it. Um, now, I always start on what we call the root note, or the tonic chord, which in this case is C, because we're writing a song in C major. You always want to start on chord one, which is also called the root or the tonic chord. So we've got C major here. Now, from our other chords, which are chord, chord 4, that's right, and then chord 5, which are F major and G major, what do you want to go next? It's completely up to you. Um, what, what note? Uh, which chords? We have F or G, or if you have C, if you like. Um, G? Very good for G, very nice choice. Okay, so that's another G major chord. And what would anyone else like? Choice. Okay, who's next? That's some, some more. How about you? Major? So what was it? C major. Good. Okay. That is actually a very nice chord choice. So, good go, go. Good going, guys. So, the next four, let's have another one. What would you like? G. G. Again, very nice. A bit of room here. And next, uh, sound again. C. C. Cool. Do you want to go? Laura? G again. G again? Okay. Right, and now what we want to do is, to finish off with, with, it's a very good thing to do, so either finish on G or F. F. Preferably G. F. We'd like to finish on F? Okay. F is just as good. No better. Right, so what we can do from that is, we can start playing that chord sequence, and you've got half a song already. Well, it's C major. Doesn't sound right. So there is our first chord sequence. Now, would you guys like that to be the verse or the chorus? Chorus. Chorus. Good choice. So that is our chorus. I'm not right C's or G's today. Chorus. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to do this and we're going to write the verse. Now, what we want to do is we want to probably make it different to what we've got already. And what we could do in the verse is we could introduce a new chord. We should use, I think we're going to call it A minor. A which if we're still in C. That's C, but you moved that thing. Exactly. Sorry. Good choice. C, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So we've got our C major scale again. Now, if we're going to be starting on A as the root note, how are we going to build it? We're starting on A. Oh, it's here. It's going to be A, C, E. A, C, E. Perfect. A, C, E. You guys are getting good at this. A, C, e. Right, so now we've got our A chord, but what we've got here is if I play A and C and E together, it's not a happy sounding chord, it's a sad sounding chord. We've got A. That's a minor chord. That's what we call the sad chord, or the minor chord. 
let's add a little bit of interest into a song. It was just like... All the time, it's just gonna sound a bit soft. Mm, it's alright, but I've been using minor chord. Yeah, half an hour left or less. Half an hour left? Yeah. So, guys, you've been working pretty hard. Would you like to go for a little break? 